Hello, hello, hello. Hey, nice to meet you. You can make money at public auctions. You buy things for cheap and resell them for a profit. I use eBay, you could use Amazon, you could sell them in person on Facebook Marketplace or at the flea market. But either way, I wanna show you some tips on how to make money at a live auction. So here we are at the auction. This brown box that I passed by is full of video games, which I didn't even notice at first. Uh, we got the matchbox set, which has a decent value, but they didn't include the cars. I wanted to win this auction, but I didn't want to pay that much for it. And that's another tip for the auction. You gotta be able to let things go. We're here to make a profit, not to collect the antiques. No thanks. No. Important thing to keep in mind when going to the auction is the buyer's premium. Usually it's between 10 and 20%, and then there's also sales tax on top of that. Now the point of the premium is the auctioneers, they need to make money, so they charge the buyers a premium, and sometimes they even charge the sellers a premium too. So let's say you win an auction for $100, if it's 10% premium, you're really paying $110, and then if there's sales tax, let's say 7%, that's another $7 on there. So that's important to keep in mind. If you think you are paying 100, you're really paying 117. So I passed by some antique Lincoln Logs here, and that's something I'm gonna wanna bid on. But I'm not gonna wanna bid right away. I'm gonna see how low the auctioneer will go on this item. But on the other hand, you don't wanna wait too long because at some auctions, if the auctioneer passes it, He's not going to put it back up. 1927 Lincoln Lock. 1927. And a $50 bid. $50 bid. $25 bid. 1927. 25 I don't believe it. 25 and a half bid. 25 and a half bid. 25 and a half bid. 30. 25. Well, moving along, there's some other items I'm interested in. I noticed these silver and golden age kids comics, which are cool and they do have some value. I'm not going to spend that much on these. I think people overestimate the value because they're old and they're in the plastic with the cardboard uh, backers. And, uh, you know, they're not really a, that high of a seller. What is my... So as you can see, these go way higher than what we want to pay. After fees, this buyer is paying about 60 bucks, and maybe he can get 120, but we don't want a 100% profit. We want those auctions that are 200, 300, 400% profit. So that's what we're waiting for. So I do like DVDs, but we're not going to be buying these ones. Only certain DVDs have value. These are good if you have a flea market booth and you can get a dollar a piece, but online you're not going to be able to sell these. So what I am interested in is these old comics and magazines right here. It's, 70s, 80s, sci-fi, horror, uh, adult comics that do have some value. And I'm definitely going to be bidding on these. Give me a $10 bid on the comic. Right $10 I have now, $12.50. $12.50 now, $15. Yeah. $17.50. Now $20, yeah. $22.50, I have $20 in for $22.50, $20 in for $22.50, all done is $20, so $20 to $35. $7, $7, $7 we got a Thank you. Uh, bar meal off. We got two, four, five. Little bonus tip for you, if you make the slashing motion, that means you're willing to be the first bidder, 
So if it's at 10, that means you're willing to pay five. That's a good way to get the, the opening bigger. Hopefully you don't have any competition. Do they have not 10? No. No. Now I made so much at public auction, I was able to afford these dollar bill earrings. So one thing I overlooked during the initial auction walk around was this box of games right here. And I didn't know what was in it, but I figured I'd bid as high as $30 uh, and, you know, maybe get lucky. And uh, did pretty good. We got Bioshock here. We got a bunch of Wii games. Wii Fit. You can sell that for a little bit. Speed Racer. There's Resident Evil Dark Side Chronicles, which I'll keep for myself. Uh, you got Monopoly, you got Boom Blocks. You got Wii Sports. That's That one you can sell for a little bit because everyone who has a Wii wants to own that game. Next, Crossbow Training, not really the best Zelda game, but there you go. Monopoly, that's fun. And... You gotta check the cases, because sometimes you might get a case and there's no games, but this one actually had Mario Kart and Wii Sports Resort. I'll keep the Resident Evil game for myself, I'll sell some of the games individual, and then I'll either lot up a bunch of games and sell them off, or I can just take them back to the auction and sell them that way, and it's like I got all these games and it didn't cost me anything. I also found this, the Star Wars uh, VHS collector's set, uh, letterbox. Now, I paid five bucks for this, uh, which is a little bit more than I'd like to pay, but that's the lowest they go, so, you know, might as well. And I can probably sell that for 30 bucks. I got these old magazines here. This was $5. You can probably get $40 for these. I got the magazines. And... The Lincoln Logs. Let's see here. 1923. So that's not a bad profit for someone like me who's basically unemployable. So go out there. Go to the auctions. Just please don't go to the ones I go to. Find, find your own.